Welcome to Talking Football TV, where we talk all things football. How you going, boys? Yes. Yeah, we're going great. It's good to be here. We're going to talk football, yes. Excellent. excellent. Mostly football. Yeah. Just football. Hopefully. Oh, George yeah. likes to talk a little bit about that. What himself. type of football, George, are we going to be talking about? Um, the A-League mainly. A-League mainly, that's it, because we're homebred Australians. Come on, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. oi. That's oi. great, excellent. So, oi. boys, let's kick straight into it. Um, for our first, ep- uh, first ever episode... Um, we'll we've got about the upcoming 2021 got, got to Fadi, 2022. Kay and George. We got that as well. We got that. Um, for the 2021 and 2022 season. Um, boys, thoughts? Um, predictions. Um, I reckon... Yeah, let's kick it off with predictions, straight off. Let's yeah. just go top three. Um, who are you backing in the top three? Um, I'm backing Bournemouth to get relegated from Premier League and hit the A-League. <laughs> and they might at least have a competition. <laughs> Worthy of winning. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> Honest thoughts. I reckon. Right. How about you just give us three teams okay. in the A-League? All right. That, just give us your three. Let's go. Brisbane. Brisbane, Brisbane to Raw. finish one. Not one. Okay, I'm going third to, third to first. Oh, third to first. Okay, All right, so go. Brisbane third. Um, Sydney second. Brisbane. Brisbane. Rar. Rar. Okay. Rar. Uh, how about this? No, Brisbane third. Melbourne City second. Sydney FC first. Okay. Mm. I don't like them by that. Interesting. But yeah. That's um, what I have. If you want me to pick three, that's the three I'll pick. Okay. Listen, okay. given that I was um, um, uh, a homebred um, Gosford, Terrigal, Central Coast. Yeah, the Terrigal. I am, um, I'm rooting for the Central Coast Mariners, Mariners. all the way. All for the way. one. For relegation, probably. Okay. No, 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 no. Well, look, probably. They got some good signings. Look, I'm telling you. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, like you're saying, three out, years ago. I'm going out on a win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going out on a on a big call here, and I'm going to call um, Central Coast Mariners for the trophy. Okay, what about second and third? Whew. Melbourne City. Mm. Yeah, Melbourne's got it. And um, you know what? I'm going to root for a team, a team that you know the underdogs. The underdogs. Who is it? MacArthur. MacArthur. Yeah, MacArthur. You think they're the underdogs? Yep. Go to the MacArthur. Yeah? Yep. I okay. think gonna, I think they're going to surprise people. I think they're going to make top four. I don't know if they're there to win it, but top four. Oh, that's, that's a big so. call right there. Seeing big that we call. have Naja on the phone. Let's yeah. hope so. Uh, not too far away. who also plays for MacArthur Bulls FC. Um, Exciting. Signing a two-year deal. Yeah. That's yeah. So um, you can explain that to him. <laughs> yeah. We're going <laughs> to tell him. We're on the phone to him yeah. afterwards. It's going to be great. Um, right. Now, nah, but we've got big topics coming up today. So um, first, obviously, we want to discuss... Um, us going to the games, we've got big things planned for the yeah, channel. Yeah, we do, we do, mm-hmm. absolutely. So we're going to be rocking up to um, quite a few A-League games mm-hmm. this season. Um, I've got a question, but can okay. I wear my Man United jersey? <laughs> What's Man United? Oh, to throw in the, in the bin? Mm. What's Arsenal, all right? Hey, 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 listen, hey. Hey, hey, don't, let's, let's, let's stay on topic civil. here, George. Let's stay on topic, man. All uh, right, don't, there's, a reason, about, there's yeah. a reason I'm sitting in the middle of both of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, so look, yeah, right, we are going to, look, like Kay mentioned, we are doing big things. We are going to come out this season and um, do some post-match interviews. We're going to watch mm-hmm. quite a few games ourselves so we can get the um, most, you know, the latest, the latest information about, you know, most of the games that we can um, get to. Yep. Um, so we encourage any fans of the Talking Football TV uh, uh, channel to, uh, you know, um, get ready. To, and if you see us out on the streets, outside the stadium, um, yeah. don't yep. be afraid to approach and yeah. have a good discussion yep. about the games. That's going to be great. Let's take some autographs. Yeah. Going to come to some uh, some derby games. Going to attend some games. We're going to mm. stream some games as well. Gonna yeah, absolutely. We're going to do some live, live, yeah, absolutely, live stream. Absolutely. Now, you just touched on some derby games. Now, there was a mm-hmm. big, top, uh, big talk about um, the, the Sydney derby last season, you know, seeing as MacArthur Bulls have jumped into the um, comp. Mm. Who's the um? What's the derby now? Is it? It's You're Derby not, County uh, and a Ipswich lo- Town. A lot, a lot of beer, a lot of punch ons. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go again, Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> is it um? Is it the Wanderers, the Mighty Wanderers versus FC, or is it now the Wanderers and Macarthur Bulls, seen as they're both the sort of Western teams? Definitely, the Western teams are going to go at it. Yeah. Okay. I reckon There's three red cards a game. Anything less than that, <laughs> uh, you're not getting your money's worth. <laughs> nah, we're good. Um, some some beer bottles being chucked on the field. Some flares being lit up. Some you know, car park punch ons. That's um, normal, but that's welcome to Sydney, FC. <laughs> um, welcome to Western Sydney, FC. Western, yeah. Welcome to Sydney. Western United. Uh, who's Western I truly United? believe if we showed no, up, br- <laughs> <laughs> Western United, Melbourne. 
They're Melbourne. Melbourne cuz, bro. Western Melbourne. United. Melbourne. We're the Western. Yeah, they're Western in Melbourne. Bro. But <laughs> Melbourne's got two Melbourne teams. Are you right there, Jules? I they like got, Derby County. They got three. Huh? They got three. That's bullshit. You got to... You got to... Bleep. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> nah, <laughs> that's bull... Bleep. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I know you're going to swear, you just put your finger up. Bleep. All right, anyways. Um, but no, look, if we, um, if, we, if we all buy a ticket, show up to the game, build that atmosphere, I think Absolutely. the Western Western Sydney Derby mm. will be the only Derby in Sydney. The new one, eh? Mm-hmm. Good. They picked up some. Uh, hopefully, you know, with this COVID, we can um, get a, a lot of cr- you know attendance, mm-hmm. um, you know, for the crowds to rock up to the games. And um, we're we're gonna give away some um, free tickets as well. So to yeah. our listeners, um, if we can afford them first, and then. <laughs> 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 There's always one in the group. <laughs> There's always yeah, one. free tickets. We'll also let you know where you can get your tickets. Um, and we'll ticket def- deck. Um, yeah, we'll do this weekly. Yeah, and then yeah, we're, gonna have, we're gonna have some um, we're gonna have some fans of the of the channel feature on the on the show as well and mm. on the podcast, so you can uh, we'll be able to call in or come on in the studio in with us and um, that's right, yeah, feature and uh, talk all things football about yeah. your team. So um, get ready because it's um, we call this place the hot box. You know, I mean, get some get some uh, questions answered and uh, see what you think. About Absolutely. That. Yeah. So that was a good point you picked up. So we are. Going to be targeting as many, um, you know, fans, coaches, um, you know, soccer enthusiasts, um, uh, and A League players of all, or, you know, even even NPL and etc. That we want to invite to this show, so everyone can learn a bit about everyone on multiple levels. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you know, based on in regards to the football, um, and hopefully everyone learns something from it. You know, yeah. from from the kids and onwards. So. Um, that's why today we, we got Moody Nigel on the phone mm. so he can give us a, a sort of background of where he started and how he got to where he is um, and then hopefully shed some light for the youngsters um, who are likely listening to this show and for any future ones as well. Um, yeah, so absolutely. what should we kick it into? Should we give him a call? Let's, let's, let's chat. Let's yeah, chat Let's give football. Moody a call. Um, now, I want to remember to ask him as well about the, um, the, this potential B-League situation and... Yeah, well, I know a bit about it, so I'll probably shed some light onto it as well, um, which will be um, also good. But we'll get him on the phone now. I sound like a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey! Hey, Moody. How's it going, guys? Not too bad. Yourself, mate? Yeah, hey, good, good. What's going on? Uh, nothing much. Just sitting here doing a podcast. Welcome to Talking Football. Welcome to Talking Football TV, where we talk all things football. Football, yeah. Hey, uh, got uh, how you going at the moment? Yeah, good, good. Just uh, finished training not long ago. Oh, you finished some training. So, look, I'll just quickly kick into this um, with with training. Um, we understand that you are, you know, being six around roughly six weeks out of the uh, season. Um, what's been going on with the training? What's 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 um what's the vibe? What have you been doing based on this um COVID restrictions and etc. Uh, so, so far, at the moment, there's about six of us boys that live in the red zone of the LGAs in Sydney, so we won't be able to be training with the team. So, we've just been training in twos with our strength and conditioning coach, so it's been like a one-on-one session, so that's all we've been doing at the moment. But hopefully, they, the club is working towards uh, providing us accommodation somewhere, and then we can get back with the team as soon as possible. That's interesting. So, like, you know, it's, it's quite unorthodox to what, you know, is previously, um, you know, the case with, with pre-season. Because normally it would be like a two, three-month um, pre-season, right? In terms of length. Correct. Yeah. And Correct. Then now you are going to have, you know, what, less than five to six weeks, um, you know, before the season starts to, you know, gel as a team, especially for the new boys that have come into the, um, into the you know, every club, especially your club, we're talking MacArthur Bulls. Um you know, that you're going to have to get familiar with um, for when uh, season starts. Correct, correct. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a bit, obviously it's going to be a bit hard, but um, I guess in those next six weeks, it's very important just to uh, gel with the boys, the new ones, and hopefully we can um, work together. Yeah, cool. Yeah, do you know um, what's interesting? I think um, being someone who's involved in football, um, but never really made it to the A League, or sort of just made it to the first grade team. Talk us through sort of just a, a standard week of um, you know the, the 
we understand the yeah. games are on the weekend, but what leads up to the weekend? Uh, what recovery days do you have? What training days do you have? Um, and team bonding activities do you guys do? Just leading up to any sort of given week during the season, how does it how does it break down? And give us an insight because a lot of us mm. really don't know. We see you guys on on TV during match day, but I'm sure there's a lot of lead up that goes into that. Um, so yeah, fill us in. Yeah, a lot of prep. Yeah, so really it depends on when the game is. So usually if the games on Saturday or Sunday, our week will change um, for training. Um, but usually if it's a Saturday game, we'll train like uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then maybe have Wednesday off, like as a recover, and then Thursday, Friday, and then jump into the game on Saturday. But usually Friday sessions usually a bit light just to move the ball around with the boys and just to know what we're going to do. Um, and same thing, if it's Sunday, then we'll start on a Tuesday instead. You know, so we'll go Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday off, and then Friday, Saturday training. So it's usually two days training, one day off, and then two days training, and then game day. Oh, so you, you, know? you take the, the, the day after the game off? Yes, correct. So usually we take the day after the game off, so we let the body completely mm. relax and just Work on your recovery on. sessions, yeah. Okay. And what do yeah. training days entail? Like, you guys show up for breakfast? Is it a lunchtime thing? Do you have meals with the team? Um, or uh, so, how does it work? Yeah, so usually, what is it? Uh, so usually in the morning, have breakfast at home, be there by, be at training ground by 8.20. And um, we'll start at maybe at 9 o'clock. So you come in, do your own stuff, get ready, um, get massaged. You need to get massaged, check the physios out, do what you need to do. Um, and then start training at 9, maybe finish around 10.30. And then after that, if you need to get massaged again from the physios, you ask them. Or if you need to do some gym work, you do your own gym work or you do it with the team. Depends on the day. And then sometimes we have lunch. So it depends on the day. Um, usually it's the day before a game or two days before we'll have a team lunch um, and that usually goes for an hour so we're usually out of there by one o'clock two o'clock okay interesting That's so, really they have, good. so they have their ways of like trying to keep the bondage um, like you know the bonding sessions um, going for the plays in the, in the club um, now you touched on a few good points um, you're talking about like recovery you know day, uh, day post uh, oh, sorry, the day, yeah, day following the the game days. Now, because it was such a crazy season last, you know, the season prior, um, because of COVID, etc., and there were so many games played in that one one week or per week, um, the recovery sessions would have been extremely important because, you know, the number of plays that you have versus the risk or the increased risk of injuries, um, you know, was was drastically significant, you know, compared to previous season, yeah. previous seasons, right? So that's where I guess what you're talking about, you know, getting rub downs and, um, you know, getting all your recovery stuff is, is super important. Um, George, you got anything you want to jump, jump in? Um, what do you think about the transfer rumours linking you to Arsenal? Are you, do you think you'll be able to save Arsenal? <laughs> hey, you know, I wouldn't mind playing for Arsenal, you know. I wish I could, you know, but... Hopefully that's a that's a dream will come. Hopefully that's a goal. That's, that's a goal. That's a goal. That's a goal. Yeah. So hopefully time goes by and yeah. we'll never know. Maybe I, I, if I go there, something changes or but we'll see what happens. At the moment they're not doing too well after yeah. yesterday's performance against our uh, Mitchell City, but it yeah. happens. You know, it happens to the best. It does. It happens it does. to it the does. best. Happen- so, hey George, yeah. it happens to the best. It does. The best. The like, best is Man United. I think George just wants to say, you know, like, um, can can you just talk to MacArthur and ask him to just accept the hundred and twenty five million already? Because <laughs> yeah, um, the negotiation just taken way too long, and given last night's five nil loss, um, they need you. Yeah, just um, yeah, maybe. Look, we, we're happy to come and support you during the uh, negotiation meeting. Um, George is yeah, we'll, we'll get our team on it. We'll get yeah, our team I'm, on it. I'm very convincing. George's got a convincing <laughs> baseball bat. He has. He yeah. keeps on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I'll convince him. Don't worry. All right. Oh, yeah, um, I got a good question. I got a question. I got a question for Woody. Um, look, you know, um, give us a rundown of you know what what made you get into football. Um, you know, and 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 you know what was your lead up from grassroots to to being a professional player. Um, and we'll and we'll kick off from there because there's a lot of kids that um you know who you know look we've all played football. Um, you know we all started somewhere. Yeah. You know we don't know what age. Should we take it more serious than not? Mm. You know, where, whether we're going to excel or, or make a career out of that. Um, so for now, just give us a rundown of what made you get into football. Uh, where did you start in terms of your grassroots and where you're at now? Uh, uh, to be honest, I think it was all because of my brothers. Like, oh, they, I, I used to go watch them play when I was a kid. 
Oh, wait, 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 listen, listen, listen. Before you keep going, I Which am Moody's brother, brother all right? <laughs> <laughs> so being the eldest, being the eldest, so I got the rest of the boys in, in the soccer world, man. So, so was you. I'll take credit. I'll take 20% of that credit. All, yeah. Good. all right, yeah, sorry, man. Keep going. So, yeah, so because of my brothers, I guess I used to go watch them play every weekend with my dad. So I was only a kid. I was only maybe two or three at the time. And when I used to watch them, I was like, oh, well, wow, like I want to play, you know? And then obviously when I was at home, I used to play in the backyard with them and do whatever I can. And then... It got to that stage when I was around six and I, my sister, I was like, Dad, let's put Moody into soccer. And then it just went from there. And then after that, I loved the game. And every every week I couldn't wait to play. And I was playing every day in the backyard, either with my brothers or whoever with my dad or whoever it was. Yeah. And from that moment, I just kept playing. And after that, I just kept playing a year up, a year up, a year up. And yeah, I never, I dreamed to be a soccer player, a professional soccer player, but I never thought I could I could do it and I surprised myself and I'm happy that I'm doing it as my job and as a full time. All right. Well, so, yeah. Hey, Moody, what, what age did you know, look, I want to take this more serious um, to make a, a career out of this, you know, because look, you you know, a lot of kids, they go through school and they got the football on the side, right? How did you know to make the decision, look, I want to pursue in football a little bit more than, you know, than schooling or, you know, how did you work around with school versus, um, you know, with football and training and, you know, because look, compared to when we played um, or trained, like I'm talking to the boys, Kane and George, we, um, we didn't train as, as, as often or frequently as the kids do now. Um, you know, we did two, three sessions a week in the game. Now they're doing daily, if not even twice a day. So it's very intense, you know, oh. especially for the family, you know, the parents. Um, so, w at what age did you know? Look, I want to take this super serious because all kids want to want to get there. But what age did you think? Look, I'm going to be realistic. Should I? I'm, I'm going to push through this, or I'm going to back off and I'm going to focus more on my school and my education and go down that path. What age did you sort of find that? Well, to be honest, I don't. The thing is, I don't think there is an age. Like I didn't even. It just hit to me. Like I was just playing around when I was. I just kept playing MPL around 12 to like 16. And I think maybe from then when I went to the Western Sydney Wanderers when I was 15, yep. Um, yep. I think that showed like I can make I can make it into the industry and as a professional footballer. And that's what I dreamed of. So I think at that age, around 15, 16, um, when I went to Wanderers, it showed that I have the skill and potential to uh, make it. But saying that at the same time, I don't think there's an age that you have to look at to play professional or not. If you can make it, you believe it, you know? Um, and that's it. So to me, I think there's, there's not an age where you should look at, oh, should I settle down or not? It's just, if you have it, you have it. If you don't, that's unfortunate, you know? But Move on. <laughs> Move on. Do it, George. Well, did you, um, Move on. <laughs> Did you um, do your, your, your double next? <laughs> no, hey, but he didn't, he didn't, Connor doesn't say that. Oh, don't, just just say it, but <laughs> move on. <laughs> um, well, look, listen. You know, you, you're talking about um, you know, playing um, you know, twelve to sixteen, and then making a transition to the Wanderers. What was the transition like? Did you have to go out and do some trials? Did you get scouted? Oh, uh, wait, 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 Moody, are you on, are you in a rocket ship or something? Are you on a plane? No, I'm in, in the car. I'm going to England to go play for Arsenal. <laughs> I'm going to Arsenal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm driving to the airport. <laughs> roll, roll up that window, what mate. What are you doing? Man, put up the window. Where are you driving? Oh, I'm You're not ordering right? food, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I chuck on my airports to make it easier. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, sorry, okay. Keep going um, with your no, question. I was just yeah, saying, um, so obviously you're playing for, you know, um, a pretty good level at 12 to 16. And then, um, so you get scouted, you try out. What What, what happened? Uh, so I was at Sydney Olympic when I was sixteen. Ah, uh, when I was fifteen, actually playing for the under sixteen. Then um, I got scouted by the Wanderers, uh, and then so no trial, just got scouted, went there, and then just I made the team. You know, I was just I was playing for the under eighteen at the age of fifteen. You're just too good. You're just too good. Say how it is, man. Say well, how it is. The king speaks it how he wishes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not, I can't be too cocky, but I just love the game. You know, so that's. Yeah. Are you um, are you someone that um, you know, obviously showed up to trainings for you know Sydney Olympic, which um, you know usually be when I was playing your know, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays and games on the weekend. Did you, as an individual, did you do your own training in between as well, just to elevate your game, or um, how did you sort of structure your week? Because you know you're not expected to do more than a two-day training with the team. Um, well, did you do anything outside personally? Well, 
Well, at the Western Sydney Wonders, we used to train uh, like three times a week, maybe four times. But of course, you got to do your extra. So my dad used to take me to the park and we used to do extra. So I think that was a big uh, motivation as well. Like my dad pushing me uh, to like keep training and going hard, you know. So he also helped me out as well with all this extra training. What about diet? What's, what's oh, diet like? I, I don't think you're like your brother, yeah? yeah? Getting those um, <laughs> getting those cheeseburgers in. Shish every day. Yeah, how you do you, Look, how, I think, yeah, he's, he's going off the lines of how do you keep more discipline, you know, all year round, you know, because this is not a seasonal thing. Um, you know, obviously, you, you know, you're my brother. I see you most days. So you eat healthy 365 days of the year. Um, how mentally challenging is that? Um yeah, how mentally challenges it, and and again, how important is it as a footballer, a professional footballer? Yeah, so as a footballer, diet is very important. You know, of course, you need energy for the game, and you need to put the right food into your body to keep that energy for a ninety minute game. Guaranteed. Um, but diet is very important. Like myself, I try to eat as clean as I can. Yes, after a game, you can. Have whatever you know, because after a game, you've lost way, a lot of camera. calories and you worked your ass off. Yeah, but yeah. that happens, so you're allowed to eat whatever. But during the whole year, they um they do oh. testing at the club, skin folds, um, to see if you're putting off fat or if you're losing fat. So you always got to maintain something in your weight as well. So they check that, that's so that's you can't slack off. Mm. So it's good in one way that they do that. But then that's you have to be disciplined that's about what you eat. And then yeah, so in one way it's very good. Okay, no, no, that that's good to hear because I think um, mental discipline is is a part of the game that I think a lot of people overlook because you know mentally to get yourself up and go an extra mentally. mile. Mentally, mentally, mate, it's all it's a it's a mindset. We'll yeah. go again, Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mindset, yeah, lads. There was um, no leg check. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that no, is George. Um, don't bring the Irish. <laughs> He's bringing the Irish out of him, mate. So, don't, hey, don't make me bring. We're going to Celtic, eh? We're going to Dublin. <laughs> we'll take it to Dublin. Um, ah, enough. So, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, um, look with, with MacArthur this season. Um, uh, you got some new signings in the team. Big things, yeah. Um, you know, one of the coaches sort of told you, you, you boys at the club. Um, you know what he expects this season coming. Um, you know, to try to go that little bit further than what you um, did last season. Yeah, so of course last season was a, it was a good first season for the club. We made it to the semi final, which was a very big thing, you know. But I think for this season, the coaches wanted us to aim for a grand final spot and go one better, you know. Yeah. And even even if it's a premiership, you know, that's even good. But we've got to work as a club, no matter what it is, the staff, players, um, and just achieve that goal, you know. We want to go one better and win, win the championship. So I think that's, that's the goal at the end of the day, but not just the championship. Try and win as many and concede. You don't want to concede as many as well, you know. So, what, um, what about personal goals yourself? Are you looking to, um, you know, <laughs> get some, uh, what, how many assists, how many goals, how many hat-tricks? You're, are you going to yeah, take over the game, yeah? Well, I've got some personal goals myself, yes, that's right. So, of course, I want to try and start as many games as I could, you know, um, even if it's in the team on the bench, you know, and then come on as many as, as I can and assist and goals, you know, whatever I can get, it helps the team out, you know. But of course, it's um, it's good to obviously get on the score sheet or the or get an assist. Um, but yeah, that's that's obviously a goal of mine. So I have got a couple goals. So yeah, that's we'll see fantastic. what happens. Hopefully, this season it happens, you know. Well, che- we're cheering for you, mate. <laughs> Yeah. Are you looking uh, forward to getting back on the pitch and um, you know, seeing the fans and you know, getting back in that atmosphere? Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah. To be honest with the fans, um, they really helped out this season, especially uh, out in Campbelltown with all the cowbells. Um, oh, should they stay or should they go? <laughs> to be honest, as much as they they may be a bit annoying, they're very good. You know, they bring the atmosphere. <laughs> everyone, oh, everyone well. brings them. It gets the crowd going, the whole stadium's going, and you know it scares the uh, opponents a bit, I reckon, as well with the cowbells. So, um, it's not a good atmosphere to be honest with all that going on. So, um, the fans were very important this season, but hopefully we can go one step better. Yeah, no, well, that that'll be amazing. We're gonna we're gonna come see you live, um, and when we'll Perfect. we'll see you after the game, do a live chat. 
Yeah, we'll Perfect. even do that. Yeah, we're going to shout out some um, some tickets to the Talking Football TV fans as well. So, um, uh, you you know, we might build up a bit of a following to to mm-hmm. some games as well. You know, um, yep. you know, not just MacArthur Bulls, but we will try to get to as many A League games as we can. Hopefully, yeah. we can um, go to England as well. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get to yeah, Arsenal fan TV eventually. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> AFTV. <laughs> I don't want to go. Just for you, George. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. Um. Yeah. Look. Thanks, Woody. That. Um. Thanks for spending some time and having a chat with us today. I know you're a very busy man. Um. I'm sure you're probably off to do another training session, as usual. Um. But yeah. Good luck for the upcoming season. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me on. I uh, appreciate it. And hopefully we can talk soon. All, All the right. best. Thanks, mate. Right. Take, Take it easy. Yeah. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. That was good. Good chat. There that you was go. Good. It's good. I'm actually looking forward to seeing him play live. Um, I yeah. think it's going to be great. Um, going out, seeing some games, seeing him shred some players. I think it would be good for anyone to get out to watch um, so many games this season following, you know, this just lockdown rubbish and, you know, COVID. And for those COVID who haven't wars. been to a game, it's yeah. fantastic. It really is fantastic. Look, Nothing like in, on TV. You're, um, you're right. Look, A-League has definitely picked up compared to what it was maybe five, ten years ago, right? Um yeah. So you know, I encourage a lot of a lot of people who who love football, get just out there, give it another go. Um, you get know, out there. You, it's you, a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, the more we can get out there, the better as well. The better atmosphere, um, the better vibe, support um, your local the better teams. the game will be. Um, yeah. but yeah, definitely support your local um your local boys. Um, you know, especially in Sydney, we got how many how many teams do we have here? We got five, including like you know Newcastle and Central. Five, and we and we still don't win the league. <laughs> <laughs> we come close, George. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you should watch the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> this, all of you out there, support Manchester United. All right. <laughs> well, you know what? Okay, so no worries, George. Yeah, mate. Dip in, mate. What, what are you thinking in? of Ronaldo coming to the United? He's back, baby. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> it's coming home. He's back. George, the Premier League is in England anyway, mate. Yeah, I know. Coming home to where? Coming. He's coming back. To, he's back home. Okay, I'm just happy. <laughs> Ronaldo's back. Yeah, but I'll, I'll be honest with you; it's not going to make a difference. <laughs> he's going to start from 80th minute to 90th minute, George. That's fine, and he'll score at least a hat trick. Georgie, how old is Ronaldo? He's about 23. <laughs> about 23. <laughs> <laughs> no, how old is he? How old is he? 36. 36. Yeah, yeah, he's. Yeah, but look at how old Abamyang is, and he can't even score a goal. Abamyang. Oh. <laughs> 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 Listen. Well, I'm listening. It's not about the player. It's about what. Money, cash, <laughs> the cash, the cash. Listen, it's about, it's about trust. <laughs> I trust Ronaldo. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I trust Ronaldo. To, to Arsenal, he's got, a, he's got Arsenal. arthritis in both knees, George. <laughs> Who? Ronaldo's got arthritis in both knees. Talk about Ronaldo. You're talking about someone else. No, and there's Ronaldo. only one Ronaldo, and that's the Brazilian Ronaldo though. with the ugly haircut. Hey, hey. You know, I got. I'll his, give you you the know, when Ronaldo. I was a kid, I had his haircut. Me too. Really? Yeah. I'm like, why would you do that to me, man? Just that little bit. Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, why would you do that to me? I did that as well. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, man, it was a big thing back in the day. It was disgusting, mate. Mate, Ronaldo was a beast. He was until he got fat. I think that was like a lockdown haircut. He just didn't know it. Nah, because he got injured for so long. He came back, became fat, and became crap. Mm. See how that rhymes? Mm. (laughs) Did it rhyme? Don't quit your day job, George. What's my day job? (laughs) What is your day job? Do you have a job? (laughs) Yeah, it's cross care. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, hey, no, honestly, there is one Ronaldo. And he got that haircut. No, there's two Ronaldos. There's one. Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got like a billion Instagram followers. He's, I think he's the most followed. Really? Yeah. He's you, serious? Do you follow I him, George? I, th- I do 100%. Really? Does he follow you back? Um, <laughs> I messaged him. He's like, let me join United first. So Wait, how many followers does he have? I don't know, but he's got a lot. I don't know, like a 200, billion? 200 million? I don't know. But apparently, yeah. apparently he's the most followed. I think 100 million in you and your family. <laughs> hey, that's 99 million. Come on. Yeah, uh, George. <laughs> just, me, just my family alone. George, are you going to um, are you gonna come to these A-League games with us? Yeah. and um, Of course he's coming. Yeah, you know course. what? I want... I want oh, yeah, I'm the first game's going to be played at Marconi Stadium, bro. That's like down the road from here. Now, listen. All right, look. Now you mentioned Marconi, right? Look, yeah. we are going to get a lot of MPL players coming on this show I as watch well. my mates that mm-hmm. play on the Marconi. Yeah? Yeah. One of them, um, he's come here before for physio. Oh, he must have seen a really good physio then. Yeah, yeah. the really good physio <laughs> name is Fadi. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and he supports Manchester United. <laughs> no, hey, don't put words in my mouth, man. Hey, do you want to hear a joke? <laughs> <laughs> is it the brick one? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, we'll save it for another time. Okay. Listen, now we are going to bring on some NPL players here as well, right? We already mm. got some lined up who are going to come um, on future shows. Yep. Um, uh, we're going to give a voice to this? the youngsters, mate. We're going to yeah, give voices absolutely. to the youngsters. From, from you said you're going to tell a joke. I'm waiting for the joke. No, no, we'll, t- we'll leave it for another time. I know a good um, joke. Arsenal. Now <laughs> I heard too many jokes last night <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> You know someone's what? like, someone's like, lockdown's worse, but being an Arsenal supporter is worse. You know what? Look, speaking of last night's game, so City beat Arsenal five 0 Look, I'm no, let's not talk about it. Let's I'm not, not a. Fa- I'm, look, I'm not. I'm a Liverpool supporter, so I'm watching this game you know, out of complete joy for the the epic football strategy. Yeah, I thought it was going to be Irish again. <laughs> We'll are, we doing, against, are we doing this? We'll go again. Oh, we doing doing all, right. all right. Here we go. We're going to do it. Show show you listen, four, dance in your head. What about that <laughs> Arsenal game? I'm watching the game last night, lads, and then... There was no leg check. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go again, Dustin. <laughs> we'll correct our wrongs. Shut Dustin. your mouth, you little fool. This time dance I will, in your head. This time I will be ready. Settle, boys, 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 settle uh, down. Settle sorry, sorry. You were talking about the game. You went back to USA. I'm watching, I'm watching last night the game, and I'm like, look, this looks like a first grade team versus under 12s. I felt bad. Don't say that about Manchester it was, City. I mean, it was 5 nil. <laughs> <laughs> it was 5 nil. It could have been 10, lads. No, I actually felt bad because I looked at the stats. I was one shot. It had nine, the whole game. 9% possession. And he, no, didn't, th- and he didn't even mean it. <laughs> Bro. No, it like, was a goalkeeper. No, no goalkeeper, not just that. Goalkeeper. I, I was listening to the match. The comment, uh, commentator was like, Edison had more touches in the first half than the whole <laughs> Arsenal team. Also, I'm like, what? That's I'm like, this crazy. can't be Arsenal. But this is a, they're really revolutionizing the game of football. That is unheard of. Like, this is not like a third T team. This is a top four team. Uh, and this shows, no, like, seriously, mm. this is incredible. I don't know what they do behind the scenes, but these guys are coming out like nothing I've ever seen before. Well, listen, maybe we can get someone to sponsor us to go there. Yeah. And wow. go in the behind the scenes with some of these clubs. And, um, what see exactly I reckon if we have a chat on. with the players. I wonder what they're doing. Winning. I wonder how they're training. I wonder what the mindset is like. Because they, they, they're truly, nobody's, no team's ever come out. <laughs> Are you are that. you bring that Irish accent on again? Uh, I, I can't I'm help it, mate. You're Don't drifting, do it. In, you're drifting <laughs> in and out. I'm drifting into it, mate. I mean, oh, give me man. ten minutes on it. You might as well just you know slap the heads off him, have, mate. Hey, oh, have you boys been to um any? Uh, have you been to England? No, I'd love to go. Um, I've been. I've, I've been. Really? I'd love to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, I've been. I've been. I've been to so many. Um, I've been to Eddie Had. Really? What? Yeah. That's mad. Every game I've been to, I've been to, I've watched a menu, I've been to Old Trafford. I, I was actually Old staying Trafford, man. 10 minutes down the road from Trafford. Wow. I'd love to go to yeah, Old Trafford. I've been there. I've been to quite a lot of games, wow. man. It's a really good atmosphere, man. You should go. Well, every look, every game you go to, packed. Wow. I've been, to, I've been to Camp New. I, on point. I went to Camp, Camp New. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Barcelona, mate. What was this? FC Barcelona. No, um, well, no, I was just a tour. It was empty. That's still <laughs> pretty cool, but you got to see the stadium. Yeah, I got to see photos of people. You know what they were selling? They were selling like these um ten. Swelling. T- no, t- t- they were selling um ten like centimeter grass like of the pitch. Oh well, you can buy bits of the like the older pitch. How much were they going for? Um, How many I pounds? A hundred pounds, mate. I don't know. It's just like, uh, like super. You know, you should have bought it and then put it in our clinic and just let it grow. Yeah, like yeah. Go it's a little grow in the backyard. Yeah, it's a little patch in the clinic. Jeez. Yeah. and it'll grow over a no, tree of uh, anything for a dollar, eh? Yeah. one pound. One pound fish. One pound fish. <laughs> one hundred years, lads. No, Do you know that, George? The yeah. one pound fish. One pound fish. Yeah. Yeah. from Soccer AM. Yeah. No, actually, I heard it from. I don't oh, know. did you? It's from Soccer AM. Yeah. I just looked. Which we're gonna be bigger. than Way bigger. Uh, maybe not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, hit hit that like and subscribe button, mate. Hit yeah, it. hit it. Hit that follow, eh? Hit it. Hit that follow hit and subscribe button, eh? We'll s- um, so we can see you next week, eh, lads? <laughs> I can't help it. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> I can't do any other accent. I can't do it. Um, when you bring out the Irish, that's it. It's over. What I if you invite Roy Keane? To the podcast. Mate, we don't know who that when is. When you come on your podcast, <laughs> no one says, knows who Arsenal is. No, I'll do I'll There do was no leg check. <laughs> no, I'll do um, I'll do uh, I'll do one of his. When you come on this podcast, it's a celebration. You ring back home, baby. We done it. Um, uh, football fans TV made us famous. Bring out the. I uh, shot you, man. Feel little forward. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Who's football fan TV? Yeah, who the hell is that? <laughs> Talking all things football, I mean. Like, shut your mouth. <laughs> what? Shut your, your mouth, mate. Ah, sorry. When you signed to sign, what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he lost yeah, it. Shut your mouth, mate.
He lost it. He lost Ta- it. Take two, two. Take two next week, guys. Don't take worry. Two. I'll get this um, down packed. We'll, we'll stop this and we'll do another one after. Yeah, look, oh we'll, do, we'll do it right for today's episode. Look, um, so yeah, just um, thinking about what we've got planned forward. Exciting things, big things, yeah. big um, big guests, big big uh, big, big news, big things, big arrivals, um, bombshell news. Um, We're so talking live, <laughs> live interviews, live streams, live right, podcasts. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. So just to just to summarize, right? We got um, live live streams coming up. Yep. Yep. What live. are we going to do in those live streams? Interviews. Yep. Um, Q and A's. Yep. Yeah, for all our fans. Um, we're going to match analysis. Match analysis. So we'll we'll be watching the game with you at home mm-hmm. um, and going through you know you know pretty much second by second of you know some matches. The breakdown. I reckon breakdown. we should do some halftime shows. Maybe we should, yeah. Like half-time. you know those volley shows that they do? You get a top corner. Let me just do a quick intro. Uh, Poor quick Skulls! Message. Any serious businesses out there who want to, um, you know... Uh, sponsor the show. Sponsor the show and do some, um, you know, for advertisement. Technically, we have two sponsors already. We've got um, the great MVP Rehab. Um, we um, sponsor about... Three dollars a show. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> look, any anything, go, everything goes a long way. Anything goes a long way. So, um, no, nah, look, no, nah, seriously, in all seriousness, mm-hmm. uh, we'll, we'll we'll break it down. So, live streams, Q and A's, uh, match analysis. Um, we're going to get in some A League players over yep. the phone or in. We'll in call the it the studio. We'll call it in, in the, the studio. studio. In the beginning. Uh, we're just waiting for this lockdown stuff to settle. Yeah. Um, Big things. We're going to get NPL players. Can we also uh, talk about fans, the Premier League? Coaches, I'm being we'll serious. touch on some Premier League games. Yes, all right, we'll touch on some. Also, uh, write us right into us, right, right in, and yeah. let us know well, what you want to talk about. Look, we got our Facebook page, Talking Football yep. TV, and we got YouTube. So leave a comment. Hit us um, up as you subscribe. Leave a comment. Yeah, um, and we'll, we'll we'll be sure to um, answer those on our podcast. Tell your, t- um, tell your friends about us. Yeah, tell them. Just tell them. Tell them. Say something we're to not me. Going anyway. Yeah, we're right here, man. We're going to Dublin. Um, uh, you yeah. know what? There's a rule now. Next, uh, next, please. next show. No more Dublin. No more Dublin. Right, mute, you, mute you out ah. of this. George, said. Don't make me do it. We're going to get Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. There was no leg that was checked. <laughs> Go again, Dustin. All right. Um, all right, boys. Let's finish this off, yeah? All right. This all right. Is, let's wrap this up. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. For episode 1, 2021. We'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Download. What? Are we available? Are we available for download yet? What did no? you say? Oh, download. Download. Are we av- are we available for download just yet? Um, we will be. Yeah. Spotify, iHeartRadio. Um, yeah, we'll um, kick it off with with Facebook and YouTube for now, and then we'll we'll, we'll kick in some um yep. uh Spotify as well. Mm. Um, still audio on Spotify. Um, in case you're driving. All right, lovely. Um, remember, don't use your phones while you drive. Um, yeah. Unless there's no cops around, you can use it. Oh, you didn't hear that here. Um, and as um, always, everyone, I'm Martin Tyler. And this is uh, Gary Neville. And, and this is Fadi Fadi. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> for joining. Take care, lads. See you next week. Take care. Bye-bye. We'll go again. Bye.